Let's go to Southeast Asia now, and the Philippines is ranked as one of the countries most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. It's regularly hit by powerful storms, landslides and flooding. Forests on the country's largest island, Luzon, are among the natural defences against extreme weather. But mining, quarrying and illegal logging have devastated much of it. Our correspondent Laura Bicker has this special report on those fighting to protect the remaining forest and those who want to exploit it. Many believe these mist-covered mountains help save lives, that the uneven peaks offer protection from powerful storms. But the vast Sierra Madre is in peril. Mining, quarrying and illegal logging have already stripped away around 90% of the original rainforest. Now, among those living under the remaining canopies, there is conflict between those desperate to make a living and those desperate to preserve life. Mark sold his cow for this chainsaw nearly a decade ago. He and his wife Grace hide from the authorities as they make money from selling wood for houses and construction projects. He knows it's dangerous, but he says they'll catch him when he's dead. My message for people is not to get angry at us because we do not actually want this. We can only get our money for basic necessities from here. They can afford to be mad because they have other sources of livelihood. But for us, we have none. They chop and dry the wood and transport it in the dark via the river. A big order can take up to a month, but we'll earn them around $300. They said illegal logging is destroying nature. God gave all this to us, so we can use it. Others have turned their back on illegal logging. Forest ranger Francisco leads us and his volunteers through dense woodland to show off his latest planting site. He once made a living chopping down these trees until a deadly landslide killed thousands. Did you feel an element of guilt? Is that why you became a forest ranger? Yes, I had trauma back then because I saw lifeless children all lined up on the streets while the houses were all destroyed. There weren't any houses left, even ours was gone. When I remember the things we did, I feel helpless. But this job comes with risks. 270 people have been killed in the last 10 years defending Filipino rainforests. Once we called out someone to stop cutting trees, they told us that they might kill us. I told them that we weren't there to pick a fight and were just explaining what will happen to all of us if they continue what they do. You won't be the only one affected. It's all of us. This is why Francisco and others want to save the Sierra Madre. Strong typhoons and floods are becoming more frequent in the Philippines. Experts believe these mountains shield against the strongest winds and her dense rainforests absorb the worst of the rainfall. Replanting is a long and difficult process. Volunteers walk miles with saplings. But the bigger challenge will be persuading others that this land is a precious resource in the battle against climate change and that growing new life now may save human lives in the future. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Quezon.